Plane tiles, grouping tiles, and seaware tiles are classified under SIC code B25. Structural clay products not elsewhere classified. The manufacture of brick and structural clay products involving mining, winding, screening, and blending of the raw materials followed by the forming, capping, or shaping, drying, filing, cooling, storage, and shaping of the final product. A typical brick manufacturing process shown in figure. The raw materials used in the manufacture of brick and structural clay products include surface clays and shales, which are mined in open pits. The moisture content of the raw material ranges from a low of about 3% of some plants of higher about 15% of other plants. Some facilities have on-site mining operation, while others bring in a raw material by truck or rain. The raw material is typically loaded by a truck or front end loader into primary crusher into initial size reduction. The material is then conveyed to a grinding room, which houses several grinding mills and banks of steel. The products a fine material that is suitable for forming bricks or other products. Types of grinding mills typically used include dry pan grinders, roller mills, and hammer mills. From the grinding room, the material is converted to storage silos or piles, which typically are enclosed. The materials is either conveyed to the mill room or brick or forming conveyed storage area. Most bricks are formed by the stiff mud extrusion process, although bricks are also formed using the soft mud and dry press processes. There may be no plants in the U.S. currently using dry press processes. A typical a typical step in extrusion line begins with the pug mill, which mixes the ground material with water and discharges the mixture into a vacuum chamber. Some facilities mix additives such as barium carbonate, which prevent surface from using the surface of the brick with the raw material prior to extrusion. The moisture content of the material entering the vacuum chamber is typically between 14 to 18 percent. The moisture content of the material in the vacuum chamber is typically between 14 to 18 percent, so that the resulting continuous so the vacuum chamber removes air from the material, which is then continually extruded through the dyes. The resulting continuous column is lubricated with oil or other lubricant to reduce friction during extrusion. If specified, Various surface treatments such as manganese dioxide, iron dioxide, and iron, iron chromite can be applied at this point. These treatments are used to add color or texture of the product. A wire cutting machine is used to cut the column into individual bricks, and then the bricks are mechanically or hand set onto keen cars. All structural tile and most bricks are formed by this process prior to stacking. Some facilities mechanically process the unfired bricks to create rounded and perfect edges that give the appearance of older worn bricks. The soft mud process is usually with clay that is too wet for steep mud extrusion. In a pug mill, the clay mixed with water to moisture content of 8, 15 to 28 percent, and the bricks are formed into molds and are dried before being mechanically, mechanically stuck into thin cars. In the dry process, clay is mixed with a small amount of water and formed into steel molds by applying pressure of 100 to 1,500 pounds of square inch or 3.43 to 10.28 megapascal. So this is the emission factors of mining operations of bricks. The following forming stacking the brick laden kiln cars in the pre dryer or holding area and are then loaded into the dryer. Dryers typically are heated to about 400 degrees Celsius or 240 degrees Celsius, rather, 400 degrees Fahrenheit rather, to 204 degrees Celsius, losing waste heat from the cooling zone of the kiln. However, some plants heat dryers with gas or other fuels. Dries may be in line or totally separate from the kiln, from the dryer of the bricks into the kiln. The most common type of kiln used for firing brick is tunnel kiln. Although some facilities operate down 
draft review details or types of kilns. A typically tunnel kilns ranges from the 340 feet or 104 meters to 500 feet or 152 meters in length and includes a preheat zone, a firing zone, and a cooling zone. The firing zone typically is maintained at a maximum temperature of about 2,000 degree Fahrenheit or 1,090 degrees Celsius. During firing, small amounts of excess fuels are sometimes introduced to the killing atmosphere, creating a reducing atmosphere that adds color or the surface of bricks. This process is called flashing. After firing the bricks, enter the cooling zone where they are cooled to near ambient temperature before leaving the tunnel key. The bricks are then stored in heat. The periodic kiln is permanent brick structure with a number of powers through which fuels enters the furnace. Hot gases from the fuel are first drawn up over the bricks, then down through them by underground flues, and then out of the kiln of the stack. In all kilns, farming takes place in six steps, evaporation of water, dehydration, oxidation, vitrification, flashing, and cooling. Natural gas in the fuel most commonly used for firing allowed by coal and sodas. Some plants have fuel oil available as a backup fuel. Most natural gas fired plants that have a backup fuel are vaporized propane, propane as the backup fuel. For most types of brick, the entire drying, firing, and cooling process takes between 20 and 50 hours. Flashing is using for to impart color of bricks by adding on combusted, combusted fuel or other materials such as zine. Used tires or used motor oil are also reportedly used. To the kin, to create reducing atmosphere, typically flashing takes place in a flashing zone. That follows the firing zone and the bricks are rapidly cooled following flashing in tunnel kilns. Then combusted fuel and other material typically is drawn into the firing zone at the Kill is burn. Is called, emission is brick manufacturing facilities include particulate matter, PM, PM less than or equal to 10 microns is on direct diameter, PM less than or equal to 2.5 microns on dynamic diameter, sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Metals, total organic compounds, including methane, ethane, volatile compounds. Are uh, organic compounds. And some are hazardous air pollutants, hydraulic acid, and fluoride compounds. Factors that may affect emission include raw materials, composition, and moisture content. Kill fuel type, kill operating parameters and plant design, the pollutants emitted from the manufacture of other structural clay products are expected to be similar to the pollutants emitted from brick manufacturing, although emissions from the manufacture of glaze products in differ significantly. The primary source of PM and PM10 and PM2.5 emissions are the raw materials, grinding and screening operators and the fuels. Other sources of PM emissions include so does dryers used by plants, which so does fired kilns, coal crushing system used by plants with coal fired kilns, and fugitive dust sources such as paved roads and paved roads in storage piles. Combustion products including SO2, NO, NOx, CO, and CO2 are emitted the fuel combustion in big kills in some brick dryers. Brick dryers that are heated with waste from the kiln cooling zone are not usually a source of combustion products because kilns are designed to prevent combustion gases from entering the cooling zone. Some brick dryers are in supplement gas burners that produce small amounts of carbon monoxide, metals, carbon dioxide, emissions. These emissions are sensitive to the conditions of the burners of the primary.
if this is the most emission factors and this is the particulate matter of the emission factors. So big manufacturing operations. The mineral products is here. The emission factors are total PM and total PM to from brick manufacturing. In the emission factors of brick manufacturing operations, the emission factors, the emission factors are hydrogen chloride total, chlorides and hydrogen chloride from brick and manufacturing extractions. The emission factors for top methane and VOC from brick manufacturing operations. The emission factors are organic pollution emission for big manufacturing operations. And the emission factors of the metals from metals emission from brick and manufacturing operations. And this is a beverage particular size distribution for the filterable PM emission from PMs. Smile reference, shock one. 